five kilometers, three laps. The last race on the program then. Possibly the Blue Ribbon event of the day. The men's 5,000 meters. Giving a tremendous cheer to two of the last runners in the women's event. They'll just let them get through to the finish before they start. I'm sure they should do that anyway. And they're away. Now Roy Lilly of East Hull is in there. He's expected to do well. That looks like Darren Bilton up there as well. So on this sort of distance we could see a slightly more competitive race than may have been forecast. And Roy Lilly and Darren Bilton are streaking ahead. So we're back to the kind of running we saw in the very youngest groups now. The two uh, runners dashing to the front where the favourite Steve Rennie is left struggling a little bit. This is a very fast start. So Roy Lilly is in the lead from Darren Bilton, Steve Rennie's caught up, Phil Groves, Dave Ainsworth, Mike Hayfield, all going through there. Leach, I believe, has just gone through from Springhead Harriers. Shane Page there in the all black kit. Colin Pinder. And there's another good feel for this, this event. I should think a hundred or so. Little short for most of these runners. They usually think in terms of half marathons. So 5,000 metres is a little bit short, but it's all good training. Now we see the favourite right on the lead, which is Steve Rennie from Roy Lilly. Roy Lilly, I believe, is only about 17, so he's got a great promise. However, he's been running for quite a number of years, so age may not necessarily deter him from winning this one. He's got a lot of experience. And Steve Rennie's now putting in the pace. He's the man in the driving seat. And Darren Bilton is just beginning to drop off the pace. I think Roy Lilly's finding it a bit hard as well. Roy Lilly's done, um, I believe he's gone inside nine minutes for 3,000, so he's quite reasonable, but I think he'll probably find this Although he's quite good at 5,000, just a bit far. And Steve Rennie is uh, really pushing very hard to win this, and they seem to be running at a tremendous pace. 
Remember the winner of the under 16s went through this point in six minutes 40. We'll just see. We'll just see what the uh, leader does in the men's race. Give you an idea of how hard they're running. Yes, and they're going through this point in a whole minute faster. Five minutes 40. So it gives you an indication of the intensity of effort. And Steve Rennie's gritting his teeth. He's really determined to win this. I hope he remembers he's running a six-stage relay late for City of Hull on Saturday. I suppose this is a reasonable workout. We hit the rough part of the course again. And Steve goes into these figure of eight for the second time, six minutes 48. Darren Bilton there is running a bit better. Phil Groves. I think he's got a hard winter's training planned to really get him amongst everybody. Only took up the sport three years ago. Dave Ainsworth. Tremendous run in the uh, Humber Bridge Marathon. Only two minutes outside his lifetime best. And six weeks ago, he was in no shape at all. Steve Rennie's now coming into view. He's got about a five second lead on Roy Lilly. And it looks like he's extending it slightly. When you're suffering, one or two bends seem to, if you're following, seem to lose you another yard or two on the leader. The leader seems to run that little bit more determinedly around the uh, bends, helping to extend his lead. Go to the um, figure of eight again, Colin. Okay. There's a different shot. There's the runners coming and going. And this figure of eight that makes the uh, the distance three laps to make, 5,000 or thereabouts. You see the ropes are separating the runners going from one direction to the other. You can see the uh, changing colours of autumn. And it's at this point when um, Steve will start to uh, lap one or two of the back markers. Just coming into shot now is uh, in the distance is Steve Rennie. And his lead now is extended to 50 metres. And it looks like the favourite's going to win this. Roy Lilly comes round now, spirited effort by the youngster, the young East Hole runner. And Darren Bilton, City of Hull, 
third. Phil Groves coming through to fourth place. So we need to try and find the finish, I think. And here comes Steve running through to the finish. Suggesting it's slightly long. 15, 56, 57, 58, 59, 16 minutes for the winner. Second place, Roy Lilly with a good sprint, 16 minutes, 10, 11. The third place, Darren Bilton. Sixteen minutes, 25, it's 28, 29. Phil Groves, Another good run by him, 16 minutes, 38, 39, 40.